understand that we need these videos. If we did not have these videos, you would not believe. You wouldn't believe it when I tell you that the next generation coming up, we might have to kill off our damn self. Listen to me. The next fucking generation, we may have, it may be a fucking war of us and them. These motherfuckers are being raised by some of the fucking most confused motherfuckers. This is the father. What if I told you that the mother was worse? Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. Um, I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 Movement. Um, if you are part of the Men 2 Movement or want to be a part of the Men 2 Movement, um, be tuned in, tuned in, tuned in at the end of this month. Big announcement. Uh, this is also, this shirt is the Men 2 um, uniform. This is what we will wear to signify that we all won. Um, you'll hear more about that later on. Um, this is... Are you fucking serious? But this will also go on a rap trap because this has everything to do with that. Um, <clears throat> what we have is Young Thug's little brother from Atlanta, no, from New Orleans, King, um, just put a video out with his three adolescent children, all under five years old, three kids, all of them have weapons in their hand, whether or not the weapons are real or not, is not the fucking problem. He has the weapons, and he's talking about our Third Amendment right is to to bear arms, and um, I'm gonna teach him that um, uh, if anybody play with him, put the pressure on on the water faucet, high pressure, whatever the fuck, and um, it just explains where we at. This has everything, but before we watch the video, first off. I don't know how outraged we can be with this shit when we have um, videos on YouTube that say 13-year-old um, girl um, destroys uh, obstacle course or whatever the fuck it was. Like, you got little white girls, little white boys shooting skeet, whatever the fuck. You got Derek Grace, um, the dude with all the tattoos in his face with the dreads and shit like that. His children are dismantling weapons and shit. Um, so we've seen kids with guns. The difference here is, which makes all the difference, is the father. You don't know how to properly use a weapon yourself. There's no way that you know what the fuck, like, there's no way that you should be in that position. And that's, like I said, profiling, stereotyping, and using your discernment is something that we should not be ashamed of. If somebody walks into a bank with a ski mask on their head and a fucking trench coat, like, he's trying to rob the bank. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no, I don't want to stereotype. What the fuck? No, like, he's a fucking robber. Like, you have that discernment for a reason. Same shit. If the nigga has a, a badge and a gun, he's with law enforcement. I'm not going to think he's a fucking bill collector. If the bitch has on the clothes that prostitutes have on, I'm going to assume she's a fucking prostitute. And it, I, it's not, it, I shouldn't be fucking looked at crazy if I asked the whole how much. And it's the same thing here. Even with me. If I get pulled over by police, I get stereotyped and shit like that. I don't, I can't, I can't have no issue. Like I chose to, you know what I'm saying? I understand, like I understand how I step now. Oh, what the fuck? What the type of shit is this? You know what I'm saying? I got rims on the car, wet paint. This shit look like it look. You no, know, it's what the fuck it is. Live in the real world. Like the real world says, yes. The fuck? If it's if it's two niggas in the car and a white girl in the back, they gonna pull that bitch over. 
give a fuck if it's the Black Eyed Peas. They're going to pull that bitch over. What's going on here? And that's how we live. It's, it's just what the fuck it is. In this situation, we know this nigga. We know this nigga. Like, watch the video. Y'all watch the video. Watch the video. Is what? It's real slow. Oh, uh -huh. It's pressure. It's pressure. Well, I let them know what you... And look, you know, the Third Amendment is we got the right to bet on. The Second Amendment, whatever the fuck amendment, we got the right to bet on. Hey, I appreciate all the support I'm getting and shit like that, but I truly hate confusion. So I'm going to kill it right here. February 15th, 6 p.m. Standard Central Time. I will be going live again, but not going live. But not just on IG. I'm going live on YouTube also. If you want to go on a live with me, be on the screen with me. Like y'all been asking, it's going to be a $50 charge and I'll have 10 slots. The order in which you get your slot is the order in which you'll come on the screen. Shut the fuck up! I expect for everybody who come on the screen to have the Are You Serious or Big Facts t-shirt on, representing AO Nation. Um, if you haven't got your shirt yet and shit like that, you already understand what's going on. All the shirts, except for the Men 2 movement, this is the Men 2 um, t-shirt. All the shirts are going for 15. All headwear is going for 10. Uh, if you want to be part of the Men 2 movement, this is the shirt that we're going to be wearing. You know what I'm saying? When we do our thing, whatever like that, these are going for 20 and shit. Also, also, at 5 o'clock on February 15th, I'm going to give out the number to this phone. You're going to be able to call in during the live. Like, and we're going to talk and shit like that. So we're going to have folks on the screen going live and folks calling in. It's going to be crazy. Obviously, the number's free and all that shit like that. From 5 o'clock to 5.50, the number will be on Instagram. At 5.50, I'll take it down. At 6.05 will be the first call I take. We running. Let's do it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to teach my babies to... They got the motherfucking right to know they got the right to buy arms. And any nigga disrespect them, do anything. It's smoke. You hear me? First thing, let, let's, let's do this. Understand that we need these videos. If we did not have these videos, you would not believe. You wouldn't believe it when I tell you that the next generation coming up, we might have to kill off our damn self. Listen to me. The next fucking generation, we may have, it may be a fucking war of us and them. These motherfuckers are being raised by some of the fucking most confused motherfuckers. This is the father. What if I told you that the mother was worse? You know what I'm saying? Because the mother, as long as you got your money right, she'll let you raise the goddamn child in any fucking form you want to. Wouldn't give a fuck. These niggas will tell. I don't know what to tell y'all, dog. Uh, when we start talking about should uh, children drop out of school and all that shit like that and, and homeschooling, which one you choose, I, I, I can't, I can't. I can't, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you there. I, I, I do believe that you should, the child should go to the military after, I'm telling you what the fuck I feel. Child should go to the fucking military after high school, period, point blank. The child should have to graduate high school and then go do the army for four years and then go to the real world. That's what I feel. That's, that's my plan. That's what, that's what I'm doing. I, that, that discipline and shit like that, I feel like it's needed. That's just me. The discipline to go through school and finish when you don't want to go, I think that's needed to go through life. The way the army sets it up to where, or the military sets it up to where you can, it's kind of like they, they it's, it's training wheels to real life. Everything is paid and shit like that, and it's a career, you know what I'm saying? Everything is paid, you don't have to pay no money, and you're getting paid. You know what I'm saying? It's like training wheels to real life. When, ain't nobody going to war and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to war. It's not going to happen like that. I think we way past actual soldiers on the ground anyway. Um, but that's how I feel. What, I, what I'm talking about when I say fucking up a child, I mean, if this nigga said if it's a problem, then you pick the goddamn uh, immediately just up the fire. 
I'm telling you this at five years old because you don't need to go outside and because the daddy, you know what I'm saying? The daddy and the mama want the daddy want the son to be who he wasn't, which is the nigga in the hood who was respected. The real old, you know what I'm saying? The real gangster nigga, you know what I'm saying? Walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? The clean up man. You know what I'm saying? On dangerous ground with the K up in my hand. Ready to blick a blast. I'm a clean up man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wants you to be like that. Using your children as time machines for you to go back in time and be the liveest nigga at school is, is living vicariously through your children. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying, so against the, the, the sports shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to talk to my brother about that shit, man, about the sports shit. And he explained to me, you know, that, that it establishes uh, discipline also uh, and shit like that. But he had to explain it to me because I, I really, I don't, because there's so many parents that try to live through their children. They want you to be the football or basketball star because they weren't. You know what I'm saying? Um, the nigga don't want the child to go outside and fight. You know what I'm saying? That, that's That's a... That's a, 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 a foregone um, experience to go through. They actually have to go outside and get beat up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And come back and, and, you know what I'm saying, earn respect like that. Because now you have the children coming to school like, I'm finna handle mine. These are the parents of 2019. Am, am I... Am I Am I reaching when I say that we may have to go to war with these motherfuckers? This nigga has unfettered access to these children. I, and I hate to say this, but I'm so worried for that boy child. So wor what can you tell this boy child? After you've given him this weapon, whether it's fake or not. After you've given him this weapon for no other reason than for you to go online and be cool. What did you just teach him? Subconsciously, what did you just teach that child? If I go online and I act extra cool, like you're my children, so you know how I act all day long. But when I get in front of this camera... It's cool time. You don't think that shows the child that having this right here makes me cool? You don't think you teaching them little girls that this is, you know what I'm saying? This is what's, what, what, what you tell them little girls when the little boy that maybe likes them like to play golf instead of at the back of the school smoking weed. But, this is, I think, the true issue of these fucking faggots is that they have no foresight. They can't see past five minutes, and that's because of their parents. That's what these hoes do. The hoes will call rape, call the police and say he beat me and shit like that, and as soon as you get locked up, I miss him. Why'd I do that? I was just mad. That's whole shit. And stupid whole shit. Nothing as whole shit. When you can't stop doing what it is that makes you cry. When you can't stop doing what it is that you hate about yourself. The thing that you have to continuously work on is acting before you think. Uh, moving off impulse. Let's talk about impulse. What does impulse come from? Impulse has to come from instinct. Instinctively, when that girl slapped you, you punched her because it's in you to do that. And so where do your instincts come from? They have to come from the way that you were raised. So what will their instincts tell them? You understand? Instinctively, she talks that way. She's a eight-year-old child, but instinctively, her natural tongue is that of a hood rat. 
she can get on the phone. She can get on the phone and call. She, she works at a call center. She can get on the phone and talk to people and enunciate her words as long as they're practiced. But she doesn't talk proper English when in her natural tongue. Her natural tongue is hood rat. His natural tongue is broken English, Ebonics, hood rat. That's what's inside of you. And what's inside of you comes from the people who raised you. A lot of times when a bitch just can't stop talking to a nigga that she knows she shouldn't talk to in that manner, she can't stop disrespecting him because that's what's inside of her. And this is why I tell niggas, if you take time out to attempt to change her mind in the way that she thinks, you a good nigga, but only do it once. Me, as soon as she shows it, it's over. You can see it, then try to correct it. She don't correct it, then you leave. Don't let, don't, don't go through this cycle for six years. Talking about you trying to help her, and she's made a headway. You should have saw when I first met her. Hey, my nigga, I don't give a fuck how she was when you first met her. She's still a fucking mess. She has no manners. She had no dignity. She has no morals. She has no fucking respect, obviously, for herself. One time, as soon as you see it, you leave. Because they come from these type of homes. Instinctively, it's so deep within them that if they don't go through a whole detox of themselves, I'm talking about deep meditation. To uproot all of that shit. It's not just going to be no conversation my nigga. And me myself. I don't have time to do that type of work. I need that work to be done. When I meet the bitch. Like yeah I went through a seance. I went to you know the mountains. The hit, you took a trip whatever. Not no bullshit ass cruise. I went to, to Las Vegas or New Orleans. Like nah you need to actually. Be then went somewhere. And did something that tore you apart. Not a fucked up relationship, bitch. I mean like a, 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 triath a triathlon. Something that destroyed you and you had to build yourself back up. You understand? Because you come from these type of homes. And these type of homes breed the type of people that we see out here. But best believe the type of people that they produce... We may have to go to war with. Because what he's training right now. Is one inmate. And two inmate producers. As far as the rap trap goes. The reason why he did this obviously is because Soldier Boy got on. It's, it's not about hits, it's about headlines. If you can if you can get your name in the in in the blogs and the media and shit like that, you'll get what Soldier Boy got, which is he redid his deal with the uh with E1 and shit like that. They allowed him to, you know what I'm saying, restructure his deal and you getting all these fucking perks and he done been everywhere but the Joe Budden podcast and Vlad TV. Just by saying oh, just, just just by acting like a fucking you know what I'm saying? Acting like what they want us to act like. So they reward behavior that they want to continue. And the behavior that they want etched out of history, they hide. So when you have artists like Johnny Cage, Prince Castro, Cam Bada, that speak, that have purpose and substance in what they say and, and what they do and how they move. They try to 
bury them. Bury them and, and give you distractions all day so you never hear their music. You have to search so deep to find what they have to offer. But Takashi 69, the baby, um fucking king, and all these other motherfuckers, the, the 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 like I said, the characteristics that they want to keep. It's kinda like uh dog breeding. I don't know shit about dog breeding, but let me break it down how I think it go. If you want this strain of like red nose pit to continue, then you breed it with like a red nose and shit like that. If you want to itch that motherfucker out, you don't let that motherfucker breed with nobody. You know what I'm saying? You just dilute the bloodline as much as you can. And that's what they're doing to real artists, real people. Chris Brown got his masters immediately. They send a bitch at him that that CIA agent, they sent it Chris Brown. She broke. She broke under pressure. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't go along with it. Nothing's going to happen to her. He's trying to, you know what I'm saying, do a counterclaim. But that's what we're working for in the Me and Two movement. Let me not go too far in that. But he knows, King knows that because you just watched the game. 6 9 had uh, rainbow hair and called all niggas out. Soldier Boy, you know what I'm saying, embarrassed himself. And called all the niggas out. The baby. Shot nigga in Walmart. I don't want to go into that shit. I, I Punch a nigga at the show. War fucking diaper. And now he feels like he has to go one better. So I'm going to go in the video of my, my, all my kids. And give them all weapons that look real. Whether or not. That, like like I'm telling you. That's not the fucking problem. We've seen children with guns before. The problem is. Who the fucking father. The parent is. The motive behind this was. I need my career to get a fucking. What can I do to make people look at me. And exactly what he wanted. Happened. How far do you think the next artist will go. There's no limit. It's no limit. Big Fast Podcast. Make sure you hit the PayPal. Remember February 15th. We will be going live on all platforms. You'll get the number an hour before. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.